Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited you are here today. I'm going to share with you a fall DIY project I've been working on. I am so excited about this. I found this jar at Goodwill for $1.99 and I thought it would look so beautiful with the plaid design painted on it. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna be using a chalk paint from Walmart. It's a Waverly brand. It's the color Nimbus. It's a really white gray color and I'm gonna be putting two coats on my jar. Now, one of the things I noticed with this project, and I wish I would have done this before, was I should have spray painted my jar first. Uh, the chalk paint, when I did the second coat, it kept lifting up off the jar. So I know if I would have spray painted it first with like a primer white color, this process would have been so much easier. Now I am going to distress it later on, so I didn't worry too much about it, but I know next time for sure, I'm going to be spray painting my jars. Um, but overall, this process was really easy. Um, chalk paint has so many colors to choose from, so it was awesome. I have let it dry overnight and now i'm going to be doing my vertical stripes i'm using painter's tape and i'm going to do uh my stripe my vertical stripe first and i'm going to use um the same width of the tape to create my dividing line so i'm going to lay it right next to the first tape and then i'm going to put a third tape right next to it and then i'm going to lift off the middle part i know it's kind of uh, confusing when you hear it but um, if you just watch the video I'm a visual learner so um, hopefully this helps you out so like I said I put three and I'm lifting off the middle and I'll use that same middle piece as my spacer for my next line So that's how I did the vertical stripes. Now I'm going to be grabbing my lightest color, uh, my lightest gray color that I'm gonna be using. So if you have the base color and then you have this uh, light gray and then I'm gonna be using a black as well. So I'm gonna use this gray. I got it from Walmart. It was a dollar um, in the paint section. And they had so many colors to choose from. So don't, if you don't wanna do the, the traditional gray and black plaid, you can definitely do a blue or a or a yellow or orange. I mean, there's so many options here. So I'm just gonna be painting all the stripes down and then I will be removing the painter's tape. Now I'm removing the painter's tape while the dark gray um, color is still wet, just because I think if it was to dry, I was scared that it would um, lift off more of the paint. So you will see me here removing the painter's tape. So this is how it should look after your first vertical stripes. Now we're gonna be doing the horizontal stripes. We're gonna do the same thing that we did vertically, now horizontal. Um, so we're gonna be using the painter's tape as a guide as well. So I put my first stripe down, I'm putting the second one right next to it, and now the third, and I will be lifting off the middle one. Again, I know this is a confusing when I'm saying it out loud, but if you um, can just see what I'm doing, it makes more sense. So I am putting the spacer here, adding the third stripe and taking off the middle. So I make sure to press down on the tape so that I can get a crisp line. Again, it does bleed and it adds to the rustic look, I think but um, that's what I'm doing. So I'm using the same paint that I used on my vertical lines um, here on my horizontal. Now you can use a different shade of gray here with, that would look really, really nice as well. But I just decided to go traditional and just use the same on the horizontal stripes. And you just paint away. Now 
now I'm going to be removing my painter's tape and I'm gonna let my project dry. I let my project dry every time I remove painter's tape for about an hour. We're gonna be letting it dry and we're gonna go on to our last step. We're gonna be masking the white squares vertically, so long ways. I'm masking all of my white squares and then I'm gonna be masking horizontally all of the stripes that do not cross. I'll point them out here in the video. Again, if you do not understand what I'm saying, I will um, be answering comments. If you leave me a comment, I will for sure answer you back. Also, I'll have other videos linked in my description that might do a better way, uh, better at explaining the process if you don't understand. I know sometimes I have to watch a couple videos before I totally get um, the project. Um, but now I'm gonna be filling in the squares that are left with my darkest color. In my case, it is black. Now we're gonna be doing the fun part is removing the last set of tape uh, you can see the design coming together now I'm so excited I love the way it turned out you will see a lot of bleed through but that is okay with me I love the way it looks at the end it looks really rustic and super farmhousey now I'm gonna be using some uh, sanding paper to sand off where the letters are just to raise those letters more um, and in the back there was a little design and I just kind of um, sand, use the sandpaper to bring out the design. Now I'm using this raffia, I believe that's what it's called. And it was a dollar in the dollar spot section at Target and I'm gonna be wrapping the top of my jar with it. Um, the top is kind of hard to tape off so there's a lot of little mistakes there so that's why I decided to put this at the top of the jar. I'm just gonna be tying a cute little bow and then after that, I'm gonna be adding some yellow flowers that I got from Hobby Lobby last year um, to my jar, and it is good to go. I super, super love this jar and how it turned out. It's just perfect for fall. Honestly, it would work for year round. Just change up the flowers that you put in. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, click that red subscribe button and become part of the Has fam. We would love to have you here. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.